Hey, this is Invader Sidious, and uh, we're going to be playing Vampire the Masquerade, the Edward Cullen edition. Yes, that's right. We like to push the boundaries here over at Invader Sidious Inc. So, uh, let's, get to, let's get started. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's get on! The world of darkness is a place where immortal blah 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 I mean, you can read all this, right? I'm pretty sure you guys can read. You guys can read, right? Okay. So, yeah. Um, we, we can go through the questions and answers, but... Pff, no, we know what we're doing. Let's just go straight to it. Okay, let's name our dude. So, this is the Edward Cullen edition, so we're going to call him Edward Cullen. There we are. I don't even know if that's spelled correctly. Whatever. And, uh, this is our dude. Well, not really. We are going to be playing as the Toreador, because they most likely match Edward. Because they are artists and visionaries, and we love humanity, and we hate to kill people. Hoo 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 hoo. So, mm. uh, and uh, we're going to have a history of fae like See? You are a creature of delicate beauty, and you sparkle in the sunlight. Although, if we try to walk out in the sunlight in this game, we'd be burnt alive, so we don't want that. Anyway, moving on. So this is our attributes and whatnot screen. So, uh, let's see, we're going to try and make Edward Cullen a defensive character, but we're also going to make him very beautiful, because he is. He's so perfect. Um, and because we're a Toreador, we get a plus to our appearance. So, um, yeah, let's let's put our charisma up a bit, and we'll put our appearance at one. Uh, and we have one to mental, so I say we put it into wits, because we get a hacking and defensive bonus for that. And uh, let's put it into talents. Let's see. Well, we won't really be using brawl much at the beginning of the game. Um, We'll mostly be using things like melee, which we'll use throughout the entire game. So it's good to have that. But um, yeah, let's see. We'll put it. We'll put some into dodge, and we'll put one into our uh, seduction to bring our seduction up a bit more. As if we need more seduction. But uh, yeah, we'll put one more into melee, and um, let's have a look. Let's say let's say Edward's good at computers, and he's good at scholarship because it raises our persuasion a bit more. And as for disciplines, let's have a look. Our specs, where we can see things around us. I know, right? Uh, celibacy, which means we can move faster than normal, which is very very helpful. And presence, which means we can like dominate people, which is really cool. When when you have it max, it basically turns your the people attacking you into tiny little babies. But for now, we're gonna put into solidarity. Okay, and here we go. The embrace, the act of turning and transforming a model into a vampire. Or is that what Cullen calls it? Do you know what? Fuck it. I don't know what he calls it. I've never even read the books. I just like I just like making fun of Edward Cullen. He's easy to make fun of. So here we go. <laughs> and Edward Cullen apparently used to be a slob? And kinky? <laughs> this was this was before he moved to uh what's it what I what's it called? Sparks, Virginia. Something like that. I think it's Sparks, Virginia. Sparks, Sparks, Washington. Fuck it, I don't know. As you can see, he went through three condoms. He's just that great of a lover. And uh, there's our unmoving clock that never ever changes. And there's our Edward, recently changed into a horrible, crazy, blithering, beautiful beast in his really shitty apartment. Holy crap! Look at the animation on that! Genius! Good evening. 
And I know the sound quality is bad, but that's not because of my laptop. That's the game itself. It's an, it's an incredibly badly programmed game, which is kind of sad. I've never been able to figure out what the hell he's saying. As prince, Ever. I am within my rights. Ah. Or and that's one of the people you can meet in the game. The, the lovely, almost naked woman. And there's another guy. Many of you have come to me seeking permission. And He's I a really cool character. I like him. Requests. It's pretty cool. She is one of the best characters ever. The that sits See the guy the over there in the corner? In uh, he's pretty cool. You get to talk to him in a minute. And the guy, the guy with the big face here is uh, Prince Lacroix. And uh, we get to meet him later. Me to announce the sentence. So. As, up to tonight, hey, you will put your neck in that a position. Loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. He's know that just I am no more had so much Shakespearean actor training. I don't know who that is. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society. The one I make up Lest on the fly. Lest we endanger all of our blood. I mean, I really like my blood. Forgive me. <laughs> Let the penalty commence. Whoop, whoop, and... Pa Ooh! <laughs> cutty, cutty, cutty! Head off. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten <laughs> progeny. And we have a little... Bonfire, bonfire show there. Child are doomed to walk the earth, never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Mm -hmm. Which is Therefore, why I'm going to. I have decided that this is bullshit. Yeah, I mean I just stepped in some. Why is the bullshit inside the theater? Um, K. Okay. Line. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish. I have decided to let this kindred live. Oh, isn't they that shall nice? be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. <laughs> let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes <laughs> of this. <laughs> See that he was skiing along the floor. Well, thank you all for attending it's these great. proceedings. And I hope Love it. As you can already see from the opening scene, the first scene in the game, how badly coded this game is. But you know what? It's just brilliant. This whole game is just genius. It really is. Don't let the the bad programming put you off. If you ever get a chance to buy this thing, go out and buy it. You will rarely find a good RPG. But I like how my character, like, I, I like how Edward is like, what the fuck? What's going on? If we wish to survive. <laughs> when someone, anyone breaks these laws, um, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Okay. Understand my predicament. Okay. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent It behavior. does. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but, um, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your son. Yeah, but, uh... This is your trial. Okay. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. Who? He will provide the details of your life. I wasn't listening. I've shown you great clarity. You have? Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, Fletcher. No. Don't come back until you do. Okay. Good evening. I mean, it'd be great if I even know where you lived, but, uh... Or even your name. That'd be nice. But we're not gonna learn that today. Yeah. So, here we go, and this is it, this is Vampire of the Masquerade, uh, more later, bye for now.